Hello and welcome to daily news analysis of Avid Shiksha. Today is 27th of February 2023. And this is the list that we'll be covering. Uh, we had missed on Saturday, but it has been included here as well. Let's go. So today's important day is today is World NGO Day, which is celebrated by the world bodies of NGO formation that was done in April 17, 2010 by 12 countries. There are 12 member countries of the Baltic Sea NGO Forum in Vilnius, Lithuania. So in 2010, it was proposed, proposed for on World NGO Day. And the first global inaugural event of World NGO Day was hosted by Ministry for Foreign Affairs of Finland on 27 February 2014. So since 2014, we have been celebrating World NGO Day. Okay, so today is World NGO Day. Remember this. Then coming to PIB, we have this news. Union Minister Dr. Jitendra Singh, Ministry of Science and Technology, inaugurates International Biotech Conclave, first ever in the Northeast. Right. So he has been in uh, our minister, Union Minister is in, was in Manipur, sorry, and where he inaugurated this biotech conclave. Right. Now, this was along with the 22nd Congress of International Society for Ethnopharmacology. All right. Which was held from February 24 to yesterday to 26, 2023 at Imphal, Manipur. And the theme for this uh, conclave is Reimagine Ethnopharmacology, Globalization of Traditional Medicine. Now, this has been organized uh, by this body, IBSD, which is International Biotech uh, so IBSD, so IBSD uh, this has been organized by in collaboration with IBSD, which was established in the year 2001 in Imphal under the Department of Biotechnology, Ministry of Science and Technology, Government of India. So this institute not only serves people of Manipur and Northeast, but also various entities uh, it has a regional center at Gangtok in Sikkim and research nodes in Shillong, Meghalaya and at ISO. Okay, So this organization under Department of Biotechnology uh, has also established a bioresource park at Hararu Imphal for what? For germplasm collection. Okay, So this IBSD has always been involved uh, in the northeastern uh, region for the uh, intervention of socio-economic growth through biotechnology. And it stands for, I haven't mentioned, it stands for Institute of Bioresources and Sustainable Development. Okay. And this conclave is in congruence or in collaborated with International Society for Ethnopharmacology based in Switzerland. All right. Hence, the 22nd Congress of International Society for Ethnopharmacology. Now, what is this IBSD uh, been doing in the Northeastern state? Particularly, it has been working on quality evaluation, validation of fermented foods, fermented foods of Northeastern region for developing products, processes, and technology. We know Northeastern area is known for its uh, processed food. From ancient times, the communities in the Northeast has, uh, have always been practicing uh, a type of fermentation, uh, including a lot of uh, foods or diet they take in. And particularly, we are very interested in the smoked meat section, right? So the smoked meat sector in the Northeast is a very highly developed you could say but technologically we still lack that skill 
So IBSD has always been uh, trying to develop such type of uh, quality, right? And also apart from that, apart from that, IBSD has also been working on therapeutic areas like antiviral, antibacterial, antifungal, insect repellents, right? For the people, because Nordis is also half of various medicinal plants because of its region located in the biodiversity uh, hotspot right and uh, this all these things are done in aligned with traditional knowledge right various communities various tribes in nordis have their own set of traditional knowledge and this helps in bringing the ethnopharmacology which is the basis of this conclave in alignment right so this was this biotech conclave then ministry of tourism has organized this first snow marathon for the first time in Bhaderwa Jammu yesterday right so ministry of tourism with real sports india along with amazing Paderwa Tourism Association which is the local association organized the maiden first snow marathon in Paderwa. you can see this image it looks very beautiful right so this was organized to celebrate 75th year of India's independence okay and over 130 runners participated in the marathon and it had an option of running 5 kilometers or 10 kilometers or 25 kilometers okay so ministry of tourism is also hoping to organize such events on large scale in coming years then indian indian navy's all women car rally was flagged off by cns cns is the chief of naval staff okay can see the picture so this all women car rally all women officers of Indian Navy and members of this Navy Wellness and Welfare Association and WWA uh, it was flagged off this car rally was flagged off on 25th February 2023 now this car rally had a slogan that is she is unstoppable with a tagline soar high okay which comments from national war memorial new delhi right and it reached war memorial longilwala rajasthan then it finished day before yesterday after traveling for 2300 kilometer over 12 days now the rally had few objectives these are the objectives okay first of all it celebrated azadiga amrit mahotsav that is 75 years of india's independence then it highlighted the contribution of naval women officers then it motivated women to join indian navy it also paid homage at the longewala war memorial in rajasthan uh, with interaction with naval veterans and veerinaris what is Veer Naris? Comment down below because we have already discussed about Veer Naris. And this one, outreach programs were conducted by NWWA as part of NWWA celebrations. Okay. Then here we have in about Indian Air Force. We went to Indian Navy. Let's go to Indian Air Force. So Indian Air Force. Is participating in this exercise desert flag 8 okay now around comprising of 110 air warriors they have arrived at Al Dafra Air Base in UAE United Arab Emirates for the exercise desert flag 8 okay so Indian Air Force will participate with five LCA Tejas which is for the first international exercise for the 
uh, LCA te Tejas planes and then two C-17 Globemaster three aircrafts. Okay. And this as exercise desert flag is a multilateral air exercise in which air forces from UAE, France, Kuwait, Australia, UK, Bahrain, Morocco, Spain, Republic of Korea, and USA would be participating. And this is scheduled from today till 17th of March. Okay. And the aim of the exercise is to participate in diverse fighting engagement and learn from the best practices of various air forces. So we have US, UK, well, the major and France, like major powerhouses, right? Also, Indian Air Force is also participating in one more exercise that is exercise Cobra Warrior at Weddington in UK. Now, this will comprise 145, 145 Air Warriors, right? And it will be held in Weddington Air Force Base of the Royal Air Force in United Kingdom. Now, this is scheduled from 6 March to 24th March. It's coming. It will be uh, after the desert flag. So, the exercise Cobra Warrior is also multilateral air exercises and air forces from Finland, Sweden, South Africa, United States of America, and Singapore would be participating alongside uh, Britain's uh, United Kingdom's Royal Air Force and Indian Air Force, right? And Indian Air Force in this exercise will be participating with five Mirage 2000 fighters, two C-17 Globemaster III, and IL-78 mid-air refueler aircraft, okay? With the same objective as previous exercise. Then here, this is from Hindu, scientist Hara, uh, Hari Balakrishnan wins 2023 Marconi Prize. Now, Marconi Prize is a top honor for computer scientists. Okay, and it is awarded by US-based Marconi Foundation. It is given to those who have made a significant contribution to increasing digital inclusivity through advanced information and communications technology. Now, Dr. Balakrishnan has been awarded for fundamental contributions to wired and wireless networking, mobile sensing, and distributed system. He is a professor in the Department of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science in MIT or Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Okay. Then, Union Minister of Shipping and Ports was in Arunachal for the Union uh, Un Un Festival at Bolin. Bolin, Arunachal Pradesh. Now, Unying is a spring festival of the Adi community. So, take it in the cultural point of view. And this is the beginning of spring season or new year for the Adi community. It, be, it also marks the start of new cultivation. Okay. And from Assam Tribune, we have this first compressed biogas plant of Northeast is to come up at Sonapur, right? So the first compressed biogas plant, CBG plant of Northeast, will be set up at Domora Pothar in Sonapur, right? And this plant will have a production capacity of 5 ton per day. And it has been set up by Redelman Technologies Private Limited in collaboration with Indian Oil Corporation, right? So this plant will push towards green energy in the Northeast that will help reduce greenhouse gas emissions and serve as an alternative fuel to fossil fuels like petrol, LPG, diesel, uh, diesel etc. All right. And finally, we have this news. So Australia, Team Australia, has won the sixth women's 
T20 World Cup title. So this T20 was going on in South Africa. We have discussed before also, right? So they have defeated South Africa, the host nation, okay? And they have won the title for the sixth time. Previously, they won in 2010, 2012, 2014, 18, 20, and now in 2023. So the team Australia winning the women's T20 World Cup. All right, with this, we come to the end of today's news analysis. But before I go, I would like to give you some information regarding uh, our courses or our initiatives like this, which you'll see in the screen. Is this the study circle? If you like the analysis, if you are enjoying the series of analysis, you can join with us in our study circle to sit together, discuss together every morning from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. starting from 1st of March. And we'll have other benefits as well, like seminars from civil servants, then daily MCQ, MCQ tests and group discussions. So if you're interested in this initiative, you can join us. I'll share, share the details in the link also in the description box, right? So thank you for joining this session. We'll see you soon.